What's up guys? I feel like it's definitely been a while since I've made a video. It's definitely been a while since you guys have kind of heard from me. I feel like I kind of left you guys in the dark as to, you know, kind of everything that's been going on in my life. And it's kind of hard for me to even make this video because I really don't know where to start. Life is crazy. It takes you on so many different journeys. And honestly, you never know where you're going to end up. I mean, as of right now, I ended up in my office. I'm in New York right now. If you guys have been following me on social media, you may have seen I was just recently in Florida. And now we'll get to why I was down there in just a minute. So I guess pretty much one of the main questions everyone has been asking me is why did I come back to YouTube and then why did I disappear again? So if you guys didn't know, last year I ended up losing my YouTube channel for a long time. It was like six months or eight months, something like that. Ended up getting my YouTube channel back, came back, started hitting vlogging super hard. And then being here in Syracuse, I feel like I kind of just was forcing content. I felt like I had done like everything entertaining that I could for you guys. When I first came back, views were super good on my channel. Channel, everybody was loving the vlogs and then as I started running out of content to create the views started going downhill which it which is no big deal that's not so much what I care about I don't really care about the views I don't care about the money on YouTube anymore because if I did I would literally just continue forcing content down your guys' throat to get paid but that's not even the case here my biggest issue is being here in Syracuse I just kind of felt like I couldn't really create the content that I wanted to for you guys and you know there's obviously other circumstances of why I stopped vlogging it wasn't just that I felt like I couldn't create content for you guys. If you guys didn't know, my mom ended up going into the hospital. She was having problems with her heart. And as of right now, all they can really say is that she has like chronic esophageal spasms, but they're really not too sure what's going on with her. She's continuing to get tests done, stuff like that. So that definitely kind of slowed things down a little bit too. And then I ended up kind of like stressing myself out, right? Cause it's like, I want to make content. I want to vlog for you guys. That's what I like to do. It's what I enjoy doing, but being so limited and not only that, it's like the weather here. If you guys are in New York, upstate New York, I should say, the weather gets terrible. Honestly, it's like seasonal depression. I lived in LA for three years. I lived in Vegas for a year. I was used to nice weather almost every single day. And then I come back to New York and now it's like seasonal depression. You know, you have nice days uh, in the winter time. You know, sometimes we get so much snow, like you can't even leave the house. You feel super trapped. And I did, I started to get seasonal depression. I started getting really down in the dumps. I started overthinking a lot of things. And one thing that I find myself doing a lot is doing too much at once. You know, I had Titan Clock. I had Elevated Dreams. I had all these things and obviously I'm still doing Titan Clock. The website is down right now because I was just in Florida for two weeks so I wouldn't have been able to fulfill orders but that's going to be up and running soon. It might even be running by the time this video is up so if you guys want to head over check out Titan Clock. Link will be in the description because that's something that I really enjoy doing. I, I like doing e-commerce. E-commerce is a thing that I've been doing since like 2009 and you guys love the watches and that makes me happy. So the reason why I'm making this video is kind of just to give you guys like an update as to what's going on, why I took a break and I feel like I kind of explained that a little bit. You guys know I moved to New Jersey last year. That move across the country took a big hit on me financially. And then also moving up to Syracuse, I took a hit financially. I was kind of struggling in LA too, to be honest with you guys. I was in a 750 square foot apartment paying $3,200 a month for rent, super expensive. And I ended up losing my YouTube channel. I ended up losing my YouTube channel after the point. But what I meant by I lost my YouTube channel prior to that is when I was in Vegas, I was pushing out content for you guys continuously. You know, I was never missing vlogs. I mean, maybe here and there when stuff would come up, but I was putting out content for you guys. I was doing the 50 foot gummy worm. Devin and I were doing, you know, racing. We were doing all types of stuff in Vegas and I got myself into a hole, like a really, really big hole. And I'm going to be completely honest and transparent with you guys. I believe that authenticity is what makes my channel stand out from the rest. Like a lot of people won't tell you when they're having a hard time, but I'm going to tell you guys, like I was having a super hard time financially when the YouTube ad pocket took a hit. I wasn't doing YouTube for the money, but it was nice because I could vlog and get paid for it. Put out entertaining content for you guys. I would vlog all day. It was almost like a full-time job. It's not your normal nine to five where you go sit at a desk, you know, you go do manual labor, but you know, you're recording throughout the day. You're spending hours editing at nighttime. It takes a lot of time out of your day. And I'm sure you guys can agree with me that time is money. In order for me to do that, like obviously I would have to get some sort of compensation for it because the time I'm spending vlogging, the time I'm spending editing is time that I could be working like a regular nine to five job, but I wouldn't have been able to have the luxury of doing the nine to five job and also being able to create vlogs for you guys. I know this video is probably going to be a lot for you guys to take in, but just try staying with me. And at the end, everything will make sense to you guys. I promise. So, you know, for example, for the 50 foot giant gummy worm that I did, that video cost me $1,200 to make. 
Believe it or not, between the piping, all the jello, the pots and pans, our gas bill was through the roof that month because we had the stoves going for like eight and a half hours, I think like that, excuse me. So like that video ended up costing me a lot of money and I ended up only making like $35 from that video. So you guys do the math, that's a big loss right there. And going through that YouTube ad apocalypse, you know, I was continuing to spend money to try putting out entertaining content for you guys, trying to get videos to go viral, you know, just trying to grow on YouTube and be become a successful creator. And while I was spending all of my money trying to create this content for you guys, my YouTube ad revenue just kept going down. So I ended up digging myself a big hole. Obviously too, like I was young. I come from a family, like a low to middle class family growing up. I really didn't have much. I got a lot of my clothes from Walmart. I got my shoes from Walmart, stuff like that. That was something that I actually ended up getting made fun of in school a lot. And I personally now, I shop at Walmart. I get my t-shirts from Walmart. I get joggers. I get shorts from Walmart, stuff like that. Like now that I'm older and more mature, that stuff doesn't matter to me. But when I was younger, when I started getting into YouTube, uh, it's been quite a few years now. Um, I was doing Instagram marketing before that. I ended up running into a lot of money at a very, very very young age and I was financially stupid. I didn't know how to manage my money. I was just buying materialistic things like, oh, I need this, I need this, I wanna fit in. Living in Hollywood definitely put a big toll on that as well too, cause in Hollywood, they got the Louis Vuitton bags, you know, they got the Gucci bags, they got the Gucci belts, they got all these materialistic things and I wanted to fit in. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I wanted to fit in with everybody. I wanted to kind of almost seem like a big baller, like a big money shot and I, I wasn't. I was continuing to dig myself a deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper hole. So that's kind of like a background as to what's happened over the past couple years, you know, as far as my YouTube channel being deleted um, and, you know, financially, I just wasn't really in a good place. Right now, I'm still not even a good place because I'm still taking care of stuff. I'm paying $550 a month right now for a BMW that has a blown motor, which I kind of wish I never put all the money into the car because now it's wasted. I can't sit here and dwell on it though. I have to learn from my mistakes. Moving forward, I know what I need to do to keep myself out of this hole. And I need to just focus on a couple things instead of six things. Like instead of focusing on Twitch, YouTube, Elevated Dreams, Titan Clock, eBay, Amazon. Like I was doing a million and one things at once and I, I felt like I ended up failing at every single one of them. And they say never to put your eggs into one basket, but guys, I had my eggs in like eight different baskets. But when you start a project, you don't finish it. You start another project, you don't finish it, which is what I've done, which is what I was doing. And it ended up just making things a lot worse for me. Uh, kind of hence why I'm here making this video. I just want to really explain to you guys like in depth and just be genuine and real with you guys. Let you guys know what is going on in my life because you guys support me day in and day out. I have people tweeting me and you know DMing me every single day. Cody, where have you been? What is going on? Are you okay? I'm praying for you. I can't thank you guys enough for that support because that's the type of stuff that keeps me going every single day, the positivity. So thank you guys so much for that. And you know, for you guys supporting me, you guys deserve to know what is going on. I just want to tell you guys what I'm really going through, the, the battles that I'm really dealing with. Being back here in Syracuse has helped a little bit because I don't have as many expenses back here. I'm not paying $3,200 a month for rent. But at the same time, I feel like there's not much opportunity here for what I do in the, you know, being in the entertainment industry, uh, being a vlogger, being a creator, being an influencer, I feel like I just can't push myself to be what I want to be and what I know I can be. I feel super limited being here in Syracuse, not being able to create, you know, the content I want for you guys. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to think, I, I think that pretty much gets most of the tip of the iceberg covered. Obviously there's still, you know, way more underneath the surface. While I was down in Florida, now hold on, let me tell you guys why I went down to Florida. So the reason I went down to Florida is a few months ago, I had tweeted talking about possibly moving back to LA. We were looking at some places in LA and honestly, it is just ridiculously expensive. The apartment that I used to live in has gone up in price by thousands. Thought about renting a house, you know, not even in Hollywood. We're talking about like Lawndale, Hawthorne. You guys probably don't know where they, those are, but they're almost like suburbs. They're like outside of Hollywood. They're outside of downtown LA, still in Los Angeles County. But everything out there is super, super expensive. And not only that, it's not just rent, but you know, gas is expensive, food's expensive. The population of LA is like 14 million people. So everything is super expensive there. And I was telling you guys, I'm trying to make smarter financial decisions, trying to make better decisions that um, 
are within my means, but gonna help benefit me. Um, I hit like a three day, really, really bad depression here in Syracuse where I'm like, you know what? Uh, I'm literally ready to just pack my stuff, jump in my Jeep, and just go wherever the road takes me. I honestly, guys, I was considering being homeless and just pretty much living out of my Jeep wherever I could go just to get out of here, get out of Syracuse because I felt so trapped here, this place. I felt like it was literally sucking the life out of me. I talked with Romeo, who is my brother-in-law, um, Rachel and Ashley, which Ashley is Rachel's sister and also Romeo's fiance. They have two kids together. We all live together right now in a house in Syracuse. It's kind of small. It's 1200 square feet. Right now we are living in an attic. So like when I lay in bed and I sit up, it's got the angled roof. So I hit my head on the ceiling. Not like the most ideal living situation, but being in the position that I was in, I kind of had to, you know, bite the bullet and take the help that was being offered to me, put my pride aside and be like, you know what? I really need some help. I, I truly need help. So I just want to give a big thank you to Romeo and Ashley for letting us into their house. You know, they know the situation. They know what I was going through. A big thank you to them for that. But in order for me to do what I want to do and I guess be successful, it's not so much even being successful. Listen, I don't want to be a millionaire. I just want to be able to pay my bills and be able to afford to eat and, you know, get clothes when I need them, stuff like that. Just the little things. I don't care about the fancy cars. I don't care about living in a mansion. Like none of that stuff matters to me anymore because I've been at the bottom of the bottom and I haven't been the top of the top, but I've been close. I had great financial success when I was younger and all that ended up doing was just kind of digging me this bigger hole and guys money really does not buy happiness but I do have to say money is important because when you pay your bills on time you know you can afford to get food that type of stuff is really really important and that takes a lot of stress off of you so I guess in a way it kind of does make you happy but back to the living situation you know I felt like I just couldn't create the content here in Syracuse I told you I was like I'm ready to just pack my stuff up jump in the Jeep and go wherever the road takes me but I sat down with Romeo Ashley Rachel we all got to talk in LA we all wanted to move to LA but I'm like listen guys financially not a good play look how expensive it is and it just wasn't making much sense so I thought of the next best thing we've talked about possibly moving to Florida before so I said you know what guys what do you guys think about moving to Florida Rachel is like I don't really want to move to Florida I'd rather be in LA but you know after like talking to her getting into depth letting her know what is going on you know for me financially for everyone else financially uh, that there's not a lot of opportunities here. Rachel's like, you know what? I would probably be down to move to Florida. So Romeo and I each jumped on the computer. We bought ourselves a $40 plane ticket, which is extremely affordable from Syracuse down to Tampa. Romeo's mom currently lives in Bradenton, which is about an hour south of Tampa. So we had a place to stay when we went down there. So we jumped on a plane, we went to Tampa, we stayed with Romeo's mom, and the goal was to try finding a place down in Florida, which was proven to be a lot a lot harder than I had expected. I thought we were gonna be maybe be down there three, four, five days trying to find a place. Well, we were down there for two weeks. I just ended up getting back yesterday. It was to the point, guys, where we would find a place, we would wanna go check it out. We'd be on the way to go check it out. And then we get a phone call. Hey, Cody, I just wanted to let you know some other people came by the house. They already put in an application and a deposit down to hold the place. So unfortunately, it is no longer available. This happened about three or four times while we were down there. Now we ended up coming across a listing of a four bedroom house. It's like 1800 square feet. It's got an in-ground swimming pool, two guard garage, very, very decent area. But the lady said she wouldn't be able to show the house until the following Monday because they were doing flooring. I said, hey, listen, you know, we're having a really hard time finding a place. Is it okay if we swing by the house, check out the outside, check out the pool area, maybe peek through the windows, see what it looks like, get a rough idea. And she's like, yeah, that's perfectly fine. I do want to let you know there's no current applications in. We went, scoped it out, and we're like, you know what? We think this is the place we're going to put in an application. And what's nice about it is what I'm paying for like, you know, rent here, uh, cable and stuff like that is practically the same price as what I'm gonna be paying to live in Florida, which is awesome because not only that, you get nice weather all year round. I'm gonna be able to create tons of content for you guys, which I know you guys are probably gonna be excited for. And I'm actually giving a lot away because I guess I might as well just tell you guys right now that we put a deposit down on a place. We just got back from Florida yesterday. We already put the deposit down 
and we are going to be moving to Florida. We have a rental truck reserved for February 5th. Going to be packing up the house. I got to grab some stuff for my office. I'm going to be keeping my office space because my mom, I still have family here. And not only that, but I'll also have a place to stay when I come up here because I have a couch here. There's a kitchen here, bathroom, no shower but I can always go to my grandma's house and shower or whatever, so I'm gonna be keeping my office space. But I gotta pack up my PC that's behind me. I'm gonna be bringing that with me. The only difficult thing is, is Rachel and Ashley both wanna save up a little bit more money before we move, so Romeo and I are gonna be taking the trip down there, moving all the stuff down. We got a couple buddies helping us out, and then Rachel and Ashley are gonna stay here with their mom and the kids and continue to work for about another month. So I'm gonna end up, I just went two weeks without seeing Rachel, and now I'm about to be going a month without seeing Rachel. But in the end, I think this is all gonna be worth it. I know this is an extremely long video, but I'm gonna be moving to Florida. I'm gonna be putting out vlog content for you guys. That's something I wanna focus on more, is vlogging. And I also wanna focus on Twitch. For those of you that have followed me on Twitch, you know I was doing gaming on there and stuff like that. A lot of you enjoyed it. But I have some big, big stuff planned for Twitch for you guys. So if you guys do not follow me on Twitch, the link for that is actually going to be right in the top of the description. Download Twitch on your phone, create an account, search Fat Boy Cody on Twitch, and there's going to be a heart at the top right of your screen. Just click that heart. That means you guys are following me. Notifications will automatically be turned on. So when I go live, you guys will get updated. So make sure to head over, follow me on Twitch. I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Hopefully I explained everything the best that I could. You know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to just drop a comment down below. I'll try answering your guys' questions in the comments. Comments. I ended up doing a following spree on Twitter the other day for everyone that had my notifications on So if you guys don't follow me on my social medias the links for those will be in the description as well Turn on my notifications send me a screenshot that you have notifications on I'll be following you guys back and do me a favor one last favor Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications here on YouTube So you guys will get notified every single time I post a new video I'm excited for you guys to join me on this journey. It is gonna be a fun one Thank you guys so much for sticking by me day in and day out. No matter what life brings, you guys are always there right by my side, and I really, really do appreciate that. So uh, thank you guys so much, and let's get this journey started. I'll see you guys very, very soon.